Hi, I'm Naomi and I am the founder of Let's Flix and I wanted to uh, explain to you a little bit about why we launched and what we're doing. So um, I used to run a lesbian lifestyle website and I got to meet a lot of filmmakers at film festivals during that time and I kept hearing how they weren't getting any money back for the films they were making and some of them weren't managing to get distribution and were struggling to find their audience. At the same time, on social media, I was seeing lots of women posting saying they'd like to see new films they'd seen everything that was on netflix obviously they only have 10 titles so it's not difficult to plow through those quite quickly uh, and they were looking for new titles and what i noticed was the friends were always recommending the same films lots of films from the 90s we you know i think when the internet was less crowded oh, there was no internet we heard about films better we had other communication methods it became really clear that only the films that were making mainstream distribution are being heard of now that tends to be biographical features. Now, obviously, that's not going to offer the representation we're looking for necessarily, or even the depth of stories that we're looking for. They tend to be more uh, palatable to the mainstream, uh, and they also cover a very important history, but it isn't just just going to give the depth. So the good news is there are hundreds of films out there that are fiction, that are representative, that show the 90% of our lives where we engage with each other and not with the mainstream. Um, it's just a case that you just don't necessarily hear about them. So that's why we decided uh, to do something about it. So um, I launched Netflix uh, as a way to bring those two things together. It just makes sense. If you look at what Disney Plus is doing, they've done the same thing. They realise that you go to Netflix to find a Disney film and you got distracted by everything else or you couldn't find the Disney film because there was so much other content. And basically, it's the same thing. By putting all the content together that has the same audience, we are able to more easily reach that audience. We're able to more easily make sure the funds flow back through to those creators. Now, that's important because it costs hundreds of thousands of pounds to make a feature film upwards. I mean, obviously, if you're talking about something like Carol, it's 2.5 million, but your kind of average feature for indie feature film, you're looking at a minimum of 200, 250,000. Uh, short films, you know, you can do on a low budget, but it still costs money. If we can't get money back through to those creators, how are they making their next film? And that's where the pipeline slows down. The industry believes there's no audience for lesbian films. Now that's because we're hard to reach as an audience. We don't have easy places to go and go, look, here's all the lesbians. We don't have, we know we don't have physical spaces. We know that we're quite a broad community just being a lesbian or bisexual woman is not enough to bring us together some of us you know have been a woman all our lives some of us are trans women some of us are pansexual bisexual some of us are professional some are students we're such a diverse community that it makes it really hard to market to us that's fundamentally where the problem is that's why there's a belief there's no audience and again that's why bringing everyone together into one central place is the best thing to do so we run in our platform as a social enterprise as well, which means that we're making sure the maximum money possible goes back through to those creators because we love film as much as you love film. I mean, I am part of your community. I am a film lover. I'm driven by those and not by capitalist profit. Particularly these days, when you look at the likes of Amazon Prime, it seems like a great place to go find lesbian film. However, there are a couple of key things that make it problematic. The first is, if you search lesbian, you also bring up porn and gay men's films. It's really hard to find the actual lesbian film on those platforms. But more importantly, as a consumer, it's knowing that actually Amazon Prime now pays one cent or one pence an hour. So if you watch a 90 minute feature on Amazon Prime, that creator is only receiving one and a half pence or one and a half cents for that film. Now, bear in mind, I said a film, a feature film can cost £250,000 plus. It's never going to be a good monetary option. And so it's important to put films in places where the money works, the economics work for us, the audience, for the filmmakers, not for the platform. So we are new, we are still growing our, our platform, so we don't have lots of content yet. Saying that, we do have 16 features, 55 shorts, eight web series as of September 2020. We are adding new content all the time, but we do appreciate for some of you, this is not a big catalogue. However, subscribers for us give us buying power to get more films. The bigger films we know you want to see in a central place, we can't get until we have the numbers. 
So we're in a chicken and egg situation a little bit there. So the subscription's $5.99 $5 a month or the equivalent in your local currency. It's, um, it's about the price of a nice coffee. What I'd ask is, if you're subscribing and watching, great. If you subscribe and see there's not enough content, consider leaving your subscription running. It's one coffee a month. It's not that much. But the power of your subscription is huge because those numbers count. Every subscriber is another piece of evidence, another way we can say we've got the audience. And then we can build the catalogue. We'll bring those bigger films to you. We'll bring newer films to you. We'll also continue to bring those older back catalogue films that you still haven't heard of that offer you that good representation you're looking for, those great stories. We're building our shorts catalogue for the same reason and web series. We realise that a lot of people put their films on YouTube and Amazon Prime because they want the numbers, but it's not a good economic option. And there's a belief that uh, having lots of views on a free platform will lead to funding. In reality, actually, it's compounding the current problem, which is there's a belief our audience, lesbian, bi, queer, women community, will not pay for films. Now, this is compounded by the problem that we often can't find the films because they're not distributed. And we end up sharing a link, a friend sent us. And what we may not realise, or we might realise, is it's pirated copy. And that is doing a lot of damage as well to our industry. So actually, whereas it might look good to have thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of views on YouTube, because it's free to access, it is not helping us to get funding to make future films. Because actually, it's just another compounding issue that shows we are not willing to pay for film. And again, that's where your subscription, you join in one central place, us building those numbers, is able to prove we will pay for content that offers us the representation, the stories we want to see. So I implore you, please, to not only subscribe, but also to invite your friends to subscribe, to tell them what we're doing, why we're so important. Um, you know, we're working really hard with filmmakers to make sure we offer a platform that works for them as well. As a community, we are huge. I know that. There's about 513,000 lesbian, bi, queer women, both cis and trans, in the UK alone. But no one knows that because we're hidden. We're not necessarily fully engaged with the LGBTQ community because we're a small proportion of that. And quite often, we're the, the last kind of consideration or we're not dedicated, we're not actually spoken to directly. So we don't engage in quite the same way. And that's understandable. And that's the reason I wanted to have a dedicated channel because I believe we deserve to be 100% front center and spoken to directly. So please do have a look at the platform. We do have two types of content. We have the rentals where you can just rent one off fee. And we also have the subscription where you can watch as much as you want for a fixed monthly fee. Um, some of our titles only appear in one and others are in both of those sections. So do have a look around. Um, please do share on your social media the films you're enjoying because it really helps the filmmakers. Again, the power of your voice. You are an influencer in your community. You may not feel that way. Your friends listen to what you have to say. So please share Netflix. Please share the films. Because the more we talk about film that we love, the show that we're paying to watch those films, the more films will become available to us. It's really that simple. So as I say, we're still new. We didn't really start promoting until the lockdown happened. But we're here. We're here to stay. We've got some great films coming up towards the end of this year. And next year, we've got some new films, some exclusive films, which is really exciting. Uh, we're still looking for more films, though, as well. So do send us the recommendations. The more you talk about us, the more you subscribe to us, the more you support us, the more we can do for you, the more we can do for filmmakers. Um, I know that we, as a community, are great supporters of independent coffee shops because we believe in the small people. We're not always so great at supporting lesbian by queer businesses. That sometimes we just don't know they exist because the queer media doesn't always talk about them. And that is why, as a community, us sharing things we find is so important. So for those of you that already subscribe, thank you so much. For those of you that are thinking of subscribing, please do as i say even if the content's not there yet we promise it's coming the functionality we know you want apps we know you'd like to have it on your tv at the moment you can um 
there are ways to get it onto your TV. The apps are coming. Again, we need the numbers. So the quicker you subscribe, the quicker you bring your friends, the quicker we'll be adding the functionality that you're wanting. But we can't do it without you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions about Leslix, just get in touch. As I say, I, you know, I am a lesbian woman. I live in London. I'm a film lover and you can email me anytime. I love to hear feedback. If anyone wants to help us, we have lots of ways coming up that we'll be looking to empower and engage our community. So if you love film as much as I love film, we hope you love Lesfix and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Come on. You know you want to. Thank mm -hmm. you.